is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, Episode 8. Now, before we get into the main part of the video, I do just have to uh, say something serious. I do apologise there was no episode last week, or any Smuggler episode last week, uh, or Jedi Knight episode, I should say, for that matter. Uh, a personal issue came up, um, and it really couldn't have help, been helped, so um, I do apologise. But um, I've got a whole week off now, so hopefully I can record a ton, a ton of all three uh, series and we can uh, hopefully complete this series before the Dark vs. Light Side event finishes. Um, so yes, yeah, so I won't say what personal issue unless of course you ask, but at the moment I'm not going to say. Um, but yeah, we shall just move on. What actual um, achievements do I still need? I know I still need quite a lot, quite a lot. But but um, in terms of um, like well, I'm nearly level 25, so I'll get that. So, hey, I would have completed one thing for the Dark versus Light event. I still need to do this. I really need to get on that. Because I, I, I don't really have much personal free time. So, it's like, I really need to get onto that. Um, it's level 50. That's going to take a while. Uh, the Flashpoint 1, that will be done soon. I don't know when. I don't know when we'll go into those Flashpoints. I think I need to be the right, right, the right level, don't I? And I have no idea what level I need to be. Um, we need to go all the way over there. Okay. Um, what do we need to do again? I've forgotten. Uh, oh, burped. The artifact of two like Horde and dies in the hands of a stiff cult leader. Lord Palladius. Palladius is holding a rally in Meridian Hall as unites followers against you. However, you've arranged for a miracle to interrupt his plans. Ah, yes. The detonator God get Madel gave you, you should be able to cause a ground quake on command. Impressing and terrifying the followers. Okay. So... We need to shake, 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 shake the moon. That's why I titled it this episode. Because I thought it fit very, very well. And it fits in the title uh, in YouTube. Because, yeah, it's, some, some titles just don't fit. But it somehow fits. So that's the title of this episode. So to anybody who knows how to do game design, how do uh, Bioware do the smoky effect? Is it like something that comes in their game engine already? Or I don't know. You know how, how do they make the smoky effect? Because I would have thought that use having a smoky effect would take up a lot of um, lot of assets in the actual environment. Because you know, you know you can't have too many assets in the environment because otherwise you'll tank the game. Um, so I, I was just curious how how is it they do the smoky effect without having to tank the game? Because some games they wow they they really do tank. Uh oh, no 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 no! Please go away! Please go away! Oh god! Oh god! I gotta avoid all of them. Okay, avoid. Okay, I thought I was gonna. Be attacked by those two. Alrighty then. No, I was just, I was just that. Uh, why, why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? Yes, Cam, eat his soul. Eat his soul. Bye. Um. Oh, that could be problematic. Um. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Cam. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That saved me a bunch of trouble having to go down there. No, I'm gonna beat you into this face. Oh, you don't even need to go into this face. All right then, fine, fine. Hello, I'm here to cause a miracle. I am, supposedly. Um, so there's no one here. Why are they all? Oh, they're all gathered, aren't they? Of course they are. Well, I might as well use rocket boost. Get myself there quicker. Hello, 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 all of you. You, you, uh, su what? Screaming blade. Hmm. So, um. My lightsaber is technically a blade. So, by screaming blade, do you mean if I were to get my lightsaber out, it would be going, ah! I guess so. Followers! You will follow me soon. Hopefully. There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! Okay. Fine. Um, you can stop now. You, you can stop now. He's... Everyone stop cheering. You're just... Anyway, boo! But I like the weak. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost. 
having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength and have sent her to break it. I come on my own power, under my own authority. Ah, the deceiver shows her face. It wasn't exactly hiding. Behold my children. Look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. The very ground you stand on responds to my will. Can Palladius do this? What kind of power is this? The world is ending. It's technically a moon. It's a trick! Attack the deceiver! Attack! How about now? How about now? Okay. Okay. Fine. I think Nashadar is a moon, isn't it? If I'm wrong, then I've got the title completely wrong. I'm going to check it anyway. If, if, it's, if it's not a moon, it's going to be like shake, 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 shake the planet. Um, which doesn't sound, you know, fun because, you know, the song is shake the room. But, oh well. Can I do what you gotta do? Ow! Knock you back. Come on, Kem. We gotta kill this screaming blade neophyte. Can you hear his blade scream right now? Should we, should we, should we, should we, should we, zoom, should we zoom in and hear its blade screaming? Ah! Yep. Yep, it's screaming. It's screaming in pain. It doesn't like to be fighting against the lightsaber. Nope. Diggle, diggle, diggle! Okay, you, you just got tickled. Ooh, a hot token. Lovely. Hello. My, my lord, what happened? How did you... We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. Worship me, or the next display of power will be your last. Of course, my lord. We are most unworthy. But before you send us away, share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. Uh, bring me presents. I want to wear robes of solid gold. You're just as crazy as Palladius. Duh. Shut your mouth before the Sith fries us. You heard the Sith. Pass the hat around and don't be stingy. Huh. It's not really enough for a solid gold anything. But it's all we've got, at least. Until we find more followers. Fools! If I find out that even one of you kept a single credit for himself, you will all suffer. Themself? Yes, my lord. I'm sure no one would be so greedy as that. We'll go find more converts. Rich ones. You'll get your robes, my lord. Promise. Technically, I am sort of wearing robes of solid gold already. Sort of. I mean, you can see the gold here. I mean, it's gold enough, isn't it, Listaria? It's gold enough! Also, I do like the differences compared to the light side. I mean, the light side, I was all, oh, well, yes, I, I will protect you from Palladius. This time, I might bow to me, you fools. Oh, hello. Um, you're the side mission, aren't you? Um, I think so. Um, well, I'm just going to go out through the store then. Wait, where, where's where's the exit? Um, where, where's the taxi terminal? Um. Uh. Oh, it's on this. Oh, it's on this side. Okay. Yeah, fine. Fine. What? Whatever. You know, you'd think with having 11 hours sleep, you wouldn't feel tired. I did. I still feel tired. Wait. Wait. Is this where you're gonna tell me I need to go? Okay. No, I need to go this way anyway. I was gonna say this is where you're gonna tell me I need to be at the other taxi terminal because you're weird like that. But no, I need to go this way anyway. Hey guys. Guys. I had myself a coat. Sith, will you look at this place? Dagon Strell himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd, and neither can Palladius anymore from the looks of it. Aren't you forgetting something? Yes, my lord. I'm sorry. I... M my lord. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. Uh, what? Who? Who said they'd kill you? Palladius' men. They said they'd kill me if I didn't bring you this. It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. Ah, Sif. Good evening. How good to talk to you again. 
I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? A call would have been sufficient. No, I like this better. More impact. The truth is, when you first attacked my cult, I was angry, frustrated. You still are. And then I realized, you're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact, and all will be mended. Are you trying to make me laugh? I assure you, Sith, I have no sense of humor. But I'm sure you do. I promise. You're alive, no aren't you? tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer, but not too long or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hut. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Mm. Do not listen to the little coward. We will devour this shit, my master. Do you take me for a fool? I'm not stupid enough to fall for that trick. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes. But this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. I wouldn't expect nothing less, you know. You know, you don't exactly know you're walking into a trap. You're like, I'm gonna go in my eyes shut, just in case. Um, <laughs> you know, I would love it as well. Level 21, hooray! Wait, what did I get there? Something blue popped up. I have no idea. I'll look at it when I'm editing. Um, I would, I would laugh if, um, you know, instead of killing Palladius, that would have been one of the options to. Go to Tatooine and scrub the back of a what? What was it? A was it a dewback? Something like that. I can't remember what animal he said. And I would, I would so laugh. And then, and then, and then you sort of go go to Tatooine. And you see this weird pure blood just just scrubbing the back of a dewback, and you and I'm just like, what? Who's that? Oh wait, it's Palladius. <laughs> but no, sadly not. You know, I've just checked the mail uh, for that one piece of mail that was up there because that was probably annoying you. And yes, it was credit spammers. Ah, uh, God. I swear, every time I log in to one of my characters, I have one of those emails. It's like they, it's like they know I've opened it. just to, Or deleted it and crap like that. And then when I log back in, they sent me another one. It's like, I'm not going to buy at all. I, 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 I remember when back in, I was playing WoW years ago. I did buy it once. You know, go ahead, sue me. Um, I did buy it once because, you know, I was a child. World of Warcraft's been around for, what, more than 10 years now? So I was like, you know, 12, 13, 14, however, however old I was. Might have been 15, actually. Because <laughs> I started with um, a Burning Crusade. So, yeah, probably about 15-ish. Um, and, you know, I just stupidly bought some. You know, they gave me my, they gave me my, um, my, my, my gold. Not gonna lie, they did it. But then I got spammed and 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 spammed more than what I was previously. So, um, don't do it, people. Don't do it. And I don't mean spammed in the mail. I would have people sending me messages in game being like, hey, you want to buy some more gold? I'd be like, no. They'd be like, are you sure? Yes. Are you really, really, really sure? Yes. Are you really, 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 really sure? Yes. Okay, bye. And then another day later, hey, want to buy some more gold? So it it just went on and on like that, and oh god, even though you'd say no, they'd still they'd still pick at you. It just drove me insane. Hello, I'm here. Ooh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, why why are they already here? I mean, I know I had to bring all my followers, but Sith, D Distron, Rachel, I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. Oh, they, they came here on their own free will. Okay. I'd love a drink. No, just the artifact. You know exactly what you can offer me. Enjoy your last so drink. So confident. So amazingly confident. But I dare say... You've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut. 
is your essence draining rather rapidly? And that hollow, sinking feeling? Your connection to the Force being severed. Soon, you will be no more powerful than little Denton here, or Ramona. You are one dead man. Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. Okay. Um, and the Force, yeah? Um, I don't know why I still have the Force. But, you know. Oh, wait! I don't. I, oh, God, they've turned off a bunch of my uh, abilities for this fight. Right, okay, that's pretty uh, pretty cool. But I have heroic moments! So, you know, I'll, I'll use that. Don't mind if I do. Unless that's been locked off as well. No, it hasn't. Well, then. Oh, my ability's back now. Oh, okay. I thought they were severed off for, for a reason. Oh, they should be severed for this fight. Not allowing me to use them. Well, oh, oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. My throat got a bit uh, clogged then. What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I've faced. Because I have a legacy. Oh, forgive me, my, my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Um... I don't know. I didn't do this last time, but shut up, all of you. Stop your prattling. This cult is mine and mine alone. With all respect, Sith, I know this Eye of Tulak is only one piece of the artifact you seek. Do you intend to give up your search and stay on Narshada? Your master won't allow it. But simply hand control of the cult over to me, and I will be at your beck and call. Mm. Could kill him. It's not not a dark side or a light side. If you obey, it's yours. If you so much as think a thought contrary to my will, I will rip you open. Thank you, my lord. Rest assured that all my thoughts are now your own. Myself and the cult will assist you whenever you need. Excellent. You can't do this. We had Darth Sash's word. Uh, well, I, I mean, I did promise. I did promise that I would kill him, so, um, bye-bye. I have no further use for you. Bye. My lord, how could you? You... I thought... Dear Riley, you will have to be punished, of course. But if you accept your punishment, I don't see why we can't let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Call on me, and your cult will be waiting. Well then. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's get back to my ship. Um, we'll be moving on to um, what's the next planet after this? Oh, oh, we're done on Ashda, so we'll get like the next next part um, in a moment. So let's go to my ship and find out. Ah, oh, don't you love it when you promise you're gonna kill somebody and then you do it? It's such a satisfying feeling. It really is. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith. Oh, I'm sleeping. That's a bright lightsaber. Oh, I'm a ghost. I cannot linger long. 
It takes too much out of me to appear here, but I must warn you. Your master, Darth Zash, is plotting something. Whatever it is can mean nothing good for you. I don't remember you, no. I killed Scotia. I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not become arrogant. I have seen Zash making her preparations. She's taken two new apprentices, a boy named Carl and a girl named Corin. She's been sending them into the Dark Temple, presumably to confirm that I am gone. I hope you killed them. I considered killing these intruders, but I heard them speak of Zash and her desire that the chamber be secure for her work. Hmm. Soon enough, Zash herself appeared. She comes every day now, studying the place and performing rituals. You are in danger. Thank you for warning me. Zash has taught you, crafted you to be everything she needs you to be. Zash knows your weaknesses. You must prepare yourself. An enterprising Sith Lord on Korriban has uncovered a piece of my old armor, my mask. It will protect you against Zash's onslaught. The Sith Lord's compound overlooks the tombs. Go. Claim it. Guard yourself against Zash's attack. I trust you will let me know if anything else develops. I cannot guarantee when I will be able to speak with you again. As I said, it is difficult for me to visit you. But I will continue to watch over my chamber in the temple, conserving my energy for when I learn something more. Well then. Well, well, well. Um, that, yeah, please, thank you. Um, and then, and then, and then, oh no, oh, why did I do that? Um, do I have enough? I do, so I may go and do that next time, but I probably won't. I need, I do need to go and update. I don't, I wanted to keep the lightsaber that I actually have, because the lightsaber I have is, um, no, no, you, did I just, damn it, no, you, go back, go back in there, I want to see what it looks like, because my lightsaber I have, you can see the crystal, and I kind—I kind of like that. So you know, I—I I don't know why I chose that, but never mind. I'll just sell it and get a few credits out of my 4.7 million. Mm. So next time, um, actually, does Kem need to speak to us? Talk. Kem, Kem's not there. Kem, Kem is not there. But even though he spoke to us there in the last episode, I have no idea why. Um, HK needs to speak to us, but we're not going to speak to HK because I've spoken to him. Numerous times on other characters. I say numerous times, only on Granatoko. Um, and next time, we'll be heading back to Korriban. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.